Hey, what's going on guys? So today's video is just a quick update on what results I got off the thermal compounds I replaced on my GTX 970s. But first of all guys, if you haven't actually seen that video, then all you have to do is click on my hair. All the links in the description. So for the results guys, both MX4 and Liquid Probe I call Laboratory performed exceptionally well to be honest compared to the standard crappy pace the MSI GX970 actually had prior to me applying the compounds. Now which one was actually better than the other? Now I decided to do uh, a little bit of cover of test, not too many, the first test I did was in 3D Mark Fire Strike on the extreme setting to really get them 99% usage out of the card, get that hot card going. And I decided to do it at 1440p as well to pretty much how I game. Now, both compounds in Fire Strike Extreme pretty much performed exactly the same. Both cards were bouncing around 73 to 74 Celsius. Now, you got to remember, guys, this is with quite a high aggressive overclock of 1500 MHz and 7,900 megahertz on the actual memory. So quite a high overclock, not my maximum overclock, but quite a high overclock. So both compounds did an exceptionally good job considering it's actually on auto fan speed as well. Now, the biggest difference between the two compounds was actually while playing GTA 5, what I class as a real world test because that is actually how we're playing it. And 3D Marks is a synthetic test, so it's not actually all true to what it will do. Now in GTA 5, I pretty much again run my settings on Ultra, everything on Ultra with two, times two AA at 1440p. I even had some of the advanced settings on as well. And how I tested them was I put MX4 on the top cards first, we're looking for at the bottom, and then I swapped them around to see what the difference is, because obviously the top card works harder. So first up, Liquid Pro. Now this did a pretty damn good job of actually keeping the card cool. Just like Fire Sprite Extreme Test, it ran about 73 to 74. And at one point, it did spike to 75, where it is a mass improvement over the 83 Celsius I was getting in the same settings in the same game prior to, like I said, flying this compound. Now, MX4, unfortunately, did perform a little bit worse. It actually hit around about 76, at one point, around about 77. So it's around about two to three Celsius hotter than the actual Liquid Pro. So which one would I actually pick? I'm not sure, though, to be honest, guys, which one I want to pick. Do I want to go for the Liquid Pro, which is proven that it gives me a little bit more better temperatures or should I go for the much safer option of MX4. Now I do really love MX4, it applies so nice compared to the actual uh, liquid probe by Cool Laboratory. But Cool Laboratory scares the crap out of me. You know I mean, if you get that on any of the resistors around the chips or any of the components, it can fire that board faster than you can say barbecue chicken. But there you go, guys. So if you're gonna do it yourself, I would probably recommend MX4 if you're not really experienced doing it. But if you are experienced, then go liquid pro, I'd probably say. But anyway, guys, that's all I have for today. I uh, appreciate your time watching this video. Please leave a like, comment, and share. You never know you might win a cookie. But anyway, guys, as always, I'll catch you in the next video. Also, if you're actually wondering why I'm wearing the Star Wars shirt, it's simply because I'm in a bit of a Star Wars mood. And on my last video, a subscriber of mine called Tango Etro Alpha, I think, said, can you wear a Star Wars t-shirt in the next video? And sometimes you got to do what they want to do. Plus, my son's starting to get into Star Wars now. And hopefully I can get him massive into a Star Wars fan because who get love Star Wars? <laughs>